<laughs> Cut. My hands are sweating. Hi, I'm Renata Fast. Hey, I'm Natalie Spooner. I'm Emma Malte. I'm Sarah Nurse. Hi, I'm Marie Flipplay, and today we're watching some iconic. Hi, I'm Emma Smith. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jamie Ratchery, and today we're watching iconic Team Canada moments at Women's Worlds. This is cool. I want to see them all. Oh, I already like this one. Zany. Oh my gosh, the pink jerseys. Those jerseys are iconic. Look at those jerseys, hey? We need to bring those back. I feel like this comes up in every TSN highlight reel ever. Stick play. Oh, dangled Geraldine. <laughs> she just goes bar down and then dives. That was just beautiful. Unreal. The, the D man doesn't look too good on that one, eh? Yeah, see, I think the defenseman's jock is in the corner for sure. <laughs> yeah, incredible. Legend. Probably the first goal that everybody thinks of with women's hockey in Canada. Like, this is so legendary. That's like, yeah, that's like iconic. Like, that's what you think about when you think of Team Canada, honestly. Iconic, uh, that's, that's how you would describe that. I mean, not a goal that I'd be scoring, that's for sure, but no, it was definitely cool, I mean. I like the Bobby Orr celebration, I'm a D-man, so. And you got that like Bobby Orr flying in the air. Bobby it's like our female Bobby Orr moment. It's kind of like a Bobby Orr moment where she like dives over the goalie there. Bobby Orr style. The jerseys also need to come back. I think we should do a, a tribute to those. Oh, I would love that. I was actually just talking about that the other day. I'm like, that would be awesome if um, we brought back some pink. Yeah, I would love to have like a retro. I think it would have been so cool if we were able to do it last year at, uh, in Canada, but I would love for them to bring that back. I think that's so sweet. People like hated on those jerseys, but we are like, we think they're so cool. It's cool because it was sort of like, a, I think when you hear players talk about it, it was a moment where maybe the they weren't sort of, they didn't feel the most respected, but then it turned into this craze and everyone was talking about that tournament for the hockey and how exciting it was. So it's like, now it's become this like powerful moment because they kind of took, took ownership of it and ran with it and the tournament was a huge success. I would bring them back just for like a nice moment, like just vintage. I think it would be awesome to have like a moment, a game or a women's world where we have those, those jersey just to remember the past because I think they, they've done a lot for us. Welcome to the 1997 World Championship from the Kitchener Memorial Auditorium. 97, okay. Oh, I'm alive now. Dude, these churches are good too, I think. Bring those back, maybe. Wick literally doesn't take a stride when she gets in from the blue line. Goal rebound. That was a good one. That's a nice greasy, greasy goal in the, in the blue paint, hey? Wick. That looks more like our goals now. Like all the chaos in front of the net, that's usually how we score against the States. Those ones are always so fun to see, like just a just a good grind goal, you know? I can like feel the emotion. Look at this celebration with the gloves. <laughs> I love that. You don't see that anymore, like looking up at the sky, throwing the gloves up. I think I got chills. To be honest, I think it's just a dirty goal that's gonna win you a hockey game. <sighs> that was the overtime, that's true. I still remember Wick's reaction like that. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> it's the celebrations for me. Like, I feel like we don't celebrate like that anymore, but we should. <laughs> yeah, this is the best part. I actually remember that celebration. When you're kids and you see the Team Canada highlights over the years, I think that's one of the, the arms up in the air throwing the gloves is, is definitely one that sticks with you. Fist, double fist pumping like that is just like also a, a classic highlight reel. Those are the moments you live for, obviously, like going in overtime, our against the US. The white cage. <laughs> The white cage, I think it's uh, maybe a thing of the past. I don't think that would go with my complexion, nor do I think that's really good style for me. <laughs> no, definitely not. I can't rock the white cage. Definitely not. Uh, I know I was chirping people with the white cages back in the day. I don't know. I just feel like it kind of just, you can't really see your people's faces as much. But I think if anyone wears it nowadays, it's a pretty bold statement. No, I don't think I could ever rock a white cage. You gotta be like, you gotta be someone like Wick, like, and you gotta be pretty unreal to rock a white cage. I will not rock the white cage. I think that's a Wick iconic kind of moment, but I think it's pretty cool to see. I could never pull off a white cage, but she's definitely one that can pull it off. Definitely not. I think that is quintessential classic. Her, no white cage for me. <laughs> I feel like if I wore it, people would be like, what? Do you think anybody on this team, if anyone was gonna do it, who would do it? I don't think I personally could, but I think there are players that maybe could could pull it off. Like I think Spooner could pull it off. I probably could, but I'm sure all the girls, like they would make fun of me. They would probably be like, what are you wearing, Spooner? I mean, Emma probably. I could see Emma rocking a white cage. I'd go with maybe Emma Malte. 
I think Emma Maltese probably would rock a white cage. Maybe one day we'll just prank Emma Malte and just put it on her. Um, I'm not a white cage gal, I don't think. I feel like those women pulled off so many um, cool cages and stuff. Like I remember Pooh used to wear like the shiny gray cage. I feel like a lot of them did. Maybe Philly or like Sir Dachne, maybe one of the younger ones. Maybe Sarah Fillier. Maybe Philly. I could see Philly with a white cage. Honestly, like maybe Sarah Fillier. <laughs> See Philly trying to rock it. That's I would never, I would never do that. There's no way. <laughs> oh, Trollet again. Oh yeah, no, I've seen this one. Oh, <laughs> I love it. The clapper. Oh, clapper rib. The clapper. She ripped it that hard with a wood stick. It's awesome. Walking off the wall with a with a clap bomb is crazy. <laughs> Bold move for a clapper inside the dots. You gotta love a slap shot goal. That slap shot. That was cool. Like I feel like the slap shot that's not a one tee is like not as much part of the game anymore. And like those, I love those old school goals like that. They're iconic. I don't think I've ever scored with a slap shot in my entire career. I still use the slap shot a lot. I, I, I pull it out all the time, I don't know. And I played with a wood stick when I first started and it wasn't wasn't leaving the ice like that. So I think it's a pretty impressive goal. For Maybe I'll pull out a clapper like that one day. I love that their celebrations are so extravagant. <laughs> they're all on the ground, they're all like piling on each other. The sellies are just, we need to bring back sellies like that. I think this, like the, the dog pile sellies are good. It's the dog piles every time. We always talk about it that you like look at men's hockey and they never end up doing that. We, all the time in women's hockey, we get full on piles. These sellies are just the best. It's so dangerous, but I mean, people are just jumping on one side the other and obviously have skates on. <laughs> I feel like she was like sliding safe at first and then everyone just kind of piles on top. I like it. Maybe we'll bring it back this year. Our team hasn't celebrated like that in the dog pile since Blair Turnbull broke her leg. No more dog pile. We're so careful now uh, since uh, Blair's little incident happened. Well, yeah, dog piles, you gotta be careful. That's all I'll say. We'll leave it at that. No, we've banned that <laughs> since 2021. No more dog piles for this team. Not anymore. No. My hands are sweating. <laughs> Ooh, coach's goal. 2012. Yes. I was sitting on the bench there. Oh yes, that was just in Vermont. I remember it was pack house. I do remember 2020-12 with Carol. Augusta, the testament of Augusta. Such a nice play by Tessa. Got a shout out Tessa Benham's net drive though. Tess gets a shout out every time on that one. And then Caro's not gonna miss a chance like that. Caro, who, who else in the slot? Just watching her score, it's different because I see her now on the coaching side and how great of a coach she is. So it's just very heartwarming to see her score a goal. <laughs> I love this goal because Caro gets this off so quick. What a play by Gus as well. I remember watching this game too. Uh, I was in college and watching that game and it was a fun, fun game to watch. And there's nothing better than winning an OTA. Oh, goosebumps. Beating the US like that and the, the Sully with the coaches too. So good. I mean, that's like a memory for sure because that was my first world championship gold medal that I got to win with the team. and That was awesome. It was my first gold medal in a world championship. I remember watching that game. That one was pretty cool because I was like a part of the program with the U18. So I think that was the first time like for me getting to see like the senior team win it. And I think just kind of ignited that that fire a little bit more for me to want to win a women's world championship one day. Yeah, I feel like it's funny that goal. We've seen that goal so many times because for a very long time, that was the last time that Team Canada had won at a world championship. When I think of Canada winning gold, I think at a world championship, that's the goal. When you taste that goal, even if you lose a couple of times, you remember that feeling forever and you want it back, that's for sure. You might have a little bit of memory of this one. Rims it around for Jenner. Now Poulin with speed, trying to get the puck. Here's Marie-Philippe Poulin. She shoots. Oh, she says she scored. They're saying no. Poulin said it in the net. I... Ugh. What a, what a cool moment. Oh my gosh, yeah. That, it gives me goosebumps. Like, being in that game, it was just... So amazing. Oh, that feels like yesterday. Look at that speed. Woo! Who's burst of speed? I mean, she goes flying past me, getting up the ice. So it's just pretty impressive what she did in that goal. When you see that shot on replay, it's like the perfect shot. And as a goalie, you're like, wow. It's a beautiful <laughs> work of art. As soon as Pooh got this puck, I knew it was in. And 
Um, I remember being on the bench, and as soon as I saw Pooh react like that, I knew it was a goal. She knew it. I love the, 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 the point. The point, like, that was in. <laughs> so, that was awful, Sally, by the way. I didn't know how to celebrate. <laughs> like, I remember on the bench for this one, we were like, that went in! That went in! Because we saw Pooh uh, celebrating. We're like, that went in! Look at her! Look at her! <laughs> she came back to the bench, changed on the back check, might I add. Pooh was pretty confident to the fact that she didn't even back check. She went to change, and Pooh always back checked. She came to the bench and everybody was like, did it go in? Did it go in? Pooh, was it in? She goes, yeah, I'm pretty sure. When Pooh says something, like, we're going to believe her. We trust in her. Blow the damn whistle. We just won this thing. I had that feeling that it went in. And obviously, I usually can see him, like, pointing. And I'm like, it went in, went in. And obviously, you can see the play that it just keeps going. And I go to the bench and I'm just taking a breather. And, like, the coach are coming. Like, are you sure it was in? Like, like by them questioning me, I was like, Maybe not, like, I was like, maybe not. 10 seconds goes by, 20, 30, I'm like, oh boy. So I'm just on the bench, just looking, like, you can see, I'm just like, then I hear the horn, and I'm like, oh my God, it, it happened. So we heard a buzzer, and we were all freaking out, and then we just realized we won the world championship, so that was pretty cool. It's a goal, and I'm like, getting the gate ready to open, <laughs> like, let's go. When the, um, like, the horn went to, to say that we won, I remember just, like, as fast as I could, like, jumped off the bench, and it was my first world championship, and first world championship gold, um, and especially, like, Poulin scoring, she's, like, my idol, and I look up to her, so it was, like, a dream come true. And a golden goal from Marie Philippe Poulin! I remember just coming down to the glass, slamming on the glass, just because I was there for centralization. So I was so pumped for them. And we all knew it went in. We were just waiting for someone to check it because we just knew with her shot and her clutchness, we knew that she was going to score. So yeah, it was a blur. We didn't actually even know if we won, but we just jumped on the ice, <laughs> crossing our fingers. This game is over. Pause it. Oh. <laughs> Cut. Yeah, like I can immediately feel my ankle break. <laughs> Some things you just don't forget, and that's one thing I will never forget. Yeah, I'm the one that fell on Blair's leg. I broke it, and she was stuck under the pile under me, asking me to move her, and I couldn't because I was stuck under plenty of people by then. Uh, so bad memory, but a celebration that will last forever. It was tough to see a little bit, that's for sure. You never want to see that, but it's so iconic when she comes back on the ice, <laughs> on, that, on that bed there, and being able to celebrate with her and the whole team. It was amazing that we won, and it was my first world championship win and the first time that we had won in a lot of years so uh, it was huge for us and huge for the program. It's one you're not going to forget and it's just iconic that it's against the U.S. the the buzzer the horn doesn't go but uh, it's still a goal and, and, and we won gold. I would say the start of a, a new era for our team. I mean for me the, my first world championship gold medal like I, I feel like there's not enough words to say to kind of explain it, but I mean, I just want to get another one.